I can't believe we just met yesterday. You're not just saying it because we exchanged bodily fluids. What you just saw was a deep fake video created in 15 minutes for free. And of course, using AI. And today I am telling you how to do it and supercharge your content creation process. For this kind of deep fake, where you take an existing video and replace it with another face, we are going to be using something called Pinocchio. For the ones who don't know, Pinocchio is a browser that lets you locally install, run, and automate any AI on your computer. Everything you can run in your command line can be automated with Pinocchio script for free with a user-friendly UI, so it is a great tool if you don't know much about programming. A little disclaimer, to run this, you will need a graphics card, whether it's a GTX or an RTX. So if you have a lower NPC, you might have some trouble getting things to work together. Now that we know all of this, we can proceed with the installation process. To generate this for free, we're going to install the software. Simply go to this website and download it. In this case, I'm on a Windows device and the installation process can take a while. But this tool will make it much easier for us. It automatically installs everything we need, so you don't have to install multiple things from different websites. Once you've downloaded it, you'll need to extract it. A folder like this will appear. Then, right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. The installation will start automatically, and a message might pop up. Just click More Info, then Run Anyway. Depending on your computer, this process can take some time, so please be patient while it downloads and installs everything. While it's installing, let's talk about is creating deep fakes illegal within the United States? Indiana, Texas, and Virginia are among the states that have made the creation of non-consensual deep fakes punishable by jail time. However, many states don't yet have laws that make the creation or distribution of deep fakes illegal or give victims the right to sue. For now, there isn't enough legislation about it, but as a general rule, the legality of creating deep fakes largely depends on the intent and usage. Now that the browser is installed, it's time to search for the Deepfake app. Click on the Visit Discover page. If you don't have this option, look for the round symbol and click on it. You can decide whether you want to download a script created by the community, or in this case, a verified script. Then search for Face Fusion. Once you find it, click Download and then install it, and wait for the installation to complete. As I've previously installed and deleted it for this recording, the process will be much faster. However, it might take a while if this is your first time. On your lower right side, you will see each step of the installation process you're in. If everything goes smoothly, we're going to open the app. In case you encounter any errors during the process, I'll show you possible solutions later in this video. Now when we open the app, we'll have to install. Yes, another installation. And of course, wait a little more but it's worth it. Now that everything is in place, we have two options to run this, from here or your preferred browser. I prefer a new tab for multitasking, but the choice is yours. Let me give you a brief tour of the settings so we can create our thing. On the left side, we have the face enhancer mode. This is because we also enable face enhancement to give the result more resolution. Now, regarding the face swapper model, I've tried several options, but I consider this one the most accurate currently. Continuing down, we need to choose whether to run this from our graphics card or CPU. If you downloaded this from a Mac, enable the Tensor RT. We can also change how the video memory strategy works. Strict, this setting ensures that the GPU uses as little memory as possible, which can benefit some systems. Moderate, balances the demands of performance against memory limitations. It's a safe choice for most users. Tolerant prioritizes performance, allowing for more flexible memory usage. This setting gives the GPU more freedom to use memory as needed. We can, finally, upload your source image and target video. After you finish uploading your content, new options will appear on the left side, like video encoders, which compress video files to reduce their size while maintaining quality. Starting with the Libx 264, offers a good balance of quality and file size. It's a safe choice for most content creation purposes. Libx 265 offers better compression than Libx 264, resulting in smaller file sizes for the same quality. However, it might have slightly less compatibility if you are trying to share your content. VP9, known for good quality at lower bit rates. However, hardware acceleration support might be limited. The next one is a hardware accelerated encoder from NVIDIA, offering fast encoding speeds, but typically requiring an NVIDIA GPU. And the last one is an encoder from AMD, 
similar to the NVIDIA options but for AMD GPUs. Moving down, I simply leave this for default. And for my personal taste, I maximize this setting. Same as resolution. This resolution works for YouTube. If you want slow motion later in your video, increase the FPS. Otherwise, 24 FPS is just perfect for normal use. Here you can select where your output video will be saved. If you encounter issues, simply open the desired save folder and copy its address. We click on start and wait to see the magic. In the meantime, you can look at the preview to see how it will look. You can choose the specific frame you want for your preview from your original video. It's a nice feature to have. I prefer not to mess around with the settings below except for these specific tools. They're useful for correcting minor errors. Simply select the side of the face where the error occurs, then select the corresponding side and adjust it a little bit, not too much for a clean look. If you have any trouble with the installation process, I will tell you how to solve it. But before we do that, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. If for some reason you find issues or just want to clean things up, this is where you'll do it. We go to the settings and we will open the troubleshoot screen. We've got a few different options to help us reset different parts of the system to load everything from scratch each time. First up, we have the bin section. This is where all the temporary files for the application are stored. If you click view folder, it will take you directly to the folder where these files are kept. Sometimes those files can get messy, especially if you've been running the app for a while. Clicking reset will completely wipe the bin folder and start fresh, just like clearing your recycle bin on your computer. This can be super helpful. If your server isn't behaving as it should, maybe it's not loading new data properly, you might need to clear this cache. Hit reset and the server cache will be completely cleared. The next time the server runs, it will rebuild the cache from scratch, hopefully fixing any issues in the process. By clicking reset browser cache, you're clearing all that old data, which can help solve problems like slow loading times or weird display issues. The browser cache is similar to the server cache, but specifically for the browser portion of the application. Over time, cache data can become outdated or corrupted. This is where your shared virtual drives are managed. You can click on view folder to access these shared files directly. This is particularly useful for accessing any shared data across the system, whether you're collaborating with others or just managing your own files. If you've tried everything in this video and are still experiencing issues, the problem might be with your computer. In the description below, you'll find a link to a laptop that offers the best value for money. It's capable of handling demanding tasks like high-end gaming, video editing, and even acting as a personal server. Alternatively, feel free to leave a comment, and I or the community will do our best to help you. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.